Hi, Soft Cell Video Online University, and I'm your instructor, John. In this episode, number 145, I'm going to explain what the voltage formula wheel is in four segments with some tips along the way. I strongly recommend you watch episode 54, otherwise you will be at a severe disadvantage through the entire four part of this series. What the 54 does is it lines you up for your way of thinking so that you convert from pure, which is power, intensity, electromotive force, and resistance. Well, nobody talks like that. They talk like Wavo. Watts, amps, volts, and ohms. We go from pure to Wavo. We're going to go counterclockwise on these formulas. There's three formulas per fact. There's three for the watts, three for the amps, for the ohms, three for the volts. So let's take a look real quickly at the other chart, the standard chart, and you'll see that it's filled with all sorts of P's and I's, R's, and stuff that's generally abstract. It's nice and um, structured, but when you go to problem solving and they ask you questions, they don't pose questions using the power, intensity, energy, and ohms letters. It's confusing. So we're going to do this entire series using the Wavo lettering. So let's get started. We are going to use an inline hot tub heater for our electrical factors. Starting with the watts portion of the formula, we're going to use an inline hot tub heater for our electrical factors. The first formula is volts squared divided by ohms equals watts. The only two things you need to know that on a new hot tub heater are the voltage and the watts. The new heaters are 4000 watts and 240 volts. Now you see here, volts squared over ohms is going to give you watts. That's fine. We know what the voltage is. It's 240 volts. But how do we get ohms? Well, we borrow from another portion of the pie chart. Because with any two factors on this pie chart, you can figure for all four factors. Watts, amps, volts, or ohms. So, we're going to borrow from the Ohm section, actually number 8, the volts squared divided by watts will give you ohms. We've got volts and we've got watts. So, you take 240 volts and square it, divide that by 4000 watts, you get 14.4 ohms. So, volts squared divided by watts equals ohms. V2 divided by 14.4 is equal to 4 kilowatts, or 4,000 watts. That solves for equation number 1. Let's move on to equation number 2, which is ohms multiplied by amps squared will give you watts. Well, we got to solve for amps, don't we? That's not a problem. So now we come up to the second formula, which is ohms times amps squared is equal to watts. Well, this time, we don't know what the amps are. But, amps are very easily solved for because watts divided by volts is equal to amps. And we have volts and watts here. So, we take 4000 watts divided by 240 volts and we get 16.6 .6 amps. So, 14.4 times 16.6 .6 squared is equal to 3,968.06 watts, which is close enough to 4,000. Now let me remind you on something here. A lot of these tests are multiple choice, and if they make you do the math, on the test and they give you a multiple choice and you just assume it's going to be 4000 because that's usually what the faceplate rating is 
go with what your calculator says. If it says 3968.06, pick that answer. Go with your feeling. And we did that by borrowing from the amperage section of the pie chart, which is formula number five. That's how you use different formulas around this chart to fill in the gaps. That's why with any two numbers, you can get any number of the four factors. So let's move on to the last one, which is voltage times ohms is equal to watts. Well, that's really simple because we know the voltage is 240 and the ohms is 14.4 but let's do the math anyways because you'll see it's not going to match this and I'll explain why too. So that brings us to our last equation which is voltage times ohms is equal to wattage. Well we know it's 240 volts we know it's 16.6 .6 ohms and we get a total of 3,984 watts. Now, it's rated at 4,000 watts. Shouldn't this be 4,000? Shouldn't this be 4,000? No. Here's why. First of all, we took 240 and we squared it. And that made a very big number. Okay? So, there's an automatic variable put into that. Secondly, we took this number and squared it. That made a big number. All right. Uh, we did divisions, and quite frankly, my calculator does not have enough decimal points to be deadly accurate. Otherwise, these would be closer, but they're substantially close. They're off by 0.995%. That's really not even worth mentioning when you're dealing with volumes of numbers that we are and especially considering I'm just using a pocket calculator when we get into these more intricate calculations the difference may be even more but that concludes the watts portion of the pie chart and we're going to move on to the amps formula next I hope you learned something in this episode I'd like to thank you for watching and have a great day